children. Let them empower and guide the children. Let us begin to call on the Lord upon them and never their let us upon them and everything that concerns them. The and they go out of the name of Jesus. Proverbs 16, Proverbs 16.3 said, commit thy ways, commit thy life, commit thy issue unto the house of the Lord, and it will establish. Let us begin to say, Father, we are committing to the of the Lord. He said, be fruitful. The word be fruitful is enormous. Praise the Lord. We will invoke Genesis 1.28 upon the lives of our women. Those second report, we say be fruitful. We if you look at that word, be fruitful, it means be productive. For your love. To a woman, it means reproduce after your own kind. Let us begin to speak and decree and we declare. Invoking that Genesis 1 28 unto the life of those seeking the people of the world. Let us begin to say, Every woman in this commission seeking the people of the world, yes, you sir. shall be fruitful. So we begin, we to, begin to decree into her life, begin to decree into her bowel. She will be fruitful. They will be fruitful. God has brought them into marriage. God has brought them into a family. They must be fruitful. They will be fruitful. For the word of God to be fruitful. Begin to decree and declare. He said, Out of her bowel, out of her womb, flows the rivers of they flow the rivers of living water. That means they must be fruitful. Begin to decree unto the woman. Begin to decree unto the family. This family God has ordained. This family God has brought together. They will be fruitful because God said fruitfulness. God said fruitfulness. Be productive. We decree unto their life in this commission. He said, None shall be barrel. None shall be barrel. Exodus 23, 23 26. None shall be barrel. There shall be no miscarriage. So in this commission, no miscarriage in, in, I mean, no miscarriage in childbirth. There shall be no miscarriage. None shall be barrel. Begin to speak into their life. Because you are fruitful, miscarriage is gone. Because you are fruitful, barrenness is gone. Because you are fruitful, you will be productive. Because you are fruitful, you will be resourceful. Oh Lord, we begin to decree. We begin to declare unto their life, unto their bowel, unto their family. Be fruitful, be reproductive, be useful in your home, in your community. Someone speak into their life that they will be fruitful, that they will be fruitful. In the name of God, in that same word, in Genesis 1 28, we will speak unto the life of our children. He said, Be fruitful. That is in the life of the child. It means be useful. If a child is not useful, it is not useful. But today, this commission, we have children who are useful. And because they are useful, they will be handful. And because they are handful, they will be masterly and masterful in that choosing destiny and career of their life. Someone begin to speak unto the life and destiny of our children in this commission. That God says in Genesis 1 to the 8, Oh, you child. Call the child by his name. Call them by their name. Oh, you child be fruitful. And God said, you should be useful. You should be resourceful. You should be handful. You will be a master and masterly in that destiny and career of your life. Oh, you child of God, kingdom, power, and glory, ministry. I speak into your power. As Bishop Bessie the altar said a time ago, in blessed memory, said a time ago, when his wife was Conceive of the first son. He started speaking life into the life of the son, of, of, into the life of the son. And today we all know the birth of that son. Begin to say to that child of this commission, the son of this commission, the son of this commission. God says in His word, "You will be fruitful. You will be useful. You will be resourceful. And everything He has ordained unto your life shall come to manifestation." Someone speak it now. Someone speak it now. We declare it. We decree it. We say it in the name of Jesus. It's only they call the scorching tongue. The scorching tongue are people who come together. They gather together and they are judging someone. And the person is not there to, to defend him or herself. They call them scorching tongue of the wicked world. But there is another one called the voice of Jehovah. He said the voice of Jehovah is powerful. The voice of Jehovah is full of majesty. The voice of Jehovah thunders in many waters. We will call on the voice of Jehovah. Against every scorching tongue, speaking 
against the consistency. You think there is those seeking the fruit of this commission that let the voice of Jehovah as it is in proof, in, as it is in Psalm, let it thunder against every scorching tongue of the wicked one. Praise the Lord. Let's begin to pray that Father, we are calling on your voice today. Let your voice begin to speak concerning as many that are seeking the fruit of the one of this commission. Let your voice thunder as your voice thunder in many waters. Let it thunder in the life and deathness of as many that are seeking the fruit of the womb of this commission. That no scorching talk of a man, no scorching talk of a woman, no scorching talk of the powers of darkness shall speak concerning their conceivement, shall speak concerning the fruit of their womb, shall speak concerning their bed. Begin to speak and say, Oh Lord, I call forth your voice. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord, of, of, the voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord thunders in many waters. Let your voice begin to thunder physically, mentally, morally, emotionally, financially upon their life, upon their destiny, upon their home. Begin to address them. Begin to address it. Don't just be afraid. Address it that God said his voice will thunder upon as many that are seeking the fruit of their womb. In this commission, let the voice of God go forth, O oh Lord, in every habit, in every darkness, in every kingdom. Is it high or near? Is it beneath the ground? Is it in the valley? Wherever, let the voice of God begin to thunder. Let it thunder that this one must be pregnant. This one must conceive. This one must give birth. This one cannot be buried. This one are ordained. This one must come forth with that which God has provided for them. Begin to speak it. Begin to say it. Begin to decree it. As many, begin to say, as many that need twins in this commission, they will have twins. As many that need triplets, they will have children. As many that need quadruplets, they will have quadruplets in this world. He said, as I hear you say, that is what I will do. As I hear you say, and we are all saints of the Almighty God, we are decreeing unto their bowels, unto their life, unto their family, that Lord they shall come forth with that desire of your heart. Those that need one, those that need two, those that need three, no need four. As many that need men, oh, as many that need sons or daughters, it shall come forth. It shall come forth. It shall come forth. It shall come forth. In the name of Jesus, it shall come forth. Begin to say, begin to be free, begin to be blessed. In the name of Jesus, let us begin to invoke. In the name of Jesus, let us begin to invoke. Exodus 7 that says, when, when, when Jehovah sent Moses forward, he said, Moses, I have made you a God over Pharaoh. I have made you a God over Pharaoh. Let's begin to speak into the life and destiny of our children of this That God will make them a God over their chosen field. That's what I say, I want to be a doctor. You shall be a doctor. That's what I say, I want to be a lawyer. You will be a lawyer. God will make them gods in their chosen field. And God will also make them God over every Pharaoh that wants to challenge their life, that wants to challenge their destiny. They want to challenge their career. Let us begin to say, Oh, you son of mine, oh, you son of this commission, you will be a God upon that so thing which God has empowered you to be. That destiny, that career, that affair which you want to be, that purpose, and that assignment which God has bestowed upon your shoulder, you will be that which God has made you to be. Oh, you shall be a God, you shall be a ruler. Let us begin to ask the Lord, let them have authority. Authority is power. Power is dominion over that which they want to be. Lord, oh Lord, they shall be useful. Let me give you say, Father, in their school, they will be useful. They will have dominion. In the church, they will have dominion. Wherever they go, in and out of city, they will have dominion. That God's authority shall be founded upon them. He said, I will make you a God. A God means untouchable. A God means you will be filled with fire. A God means you will be filled with the Spirit of God. That Lord make our children a God. Even in this season, as they go out, even where our eyes could not reach, for the eyes of God, let us say, Father, make them a God. Make them a God. Over every pharaoh, over every challenge, over every dice as arrows of the enemy, over every empowerment or wickedness or affliction of the enemy. Make them a God. 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 In the name of Jesus. Are we understanding this prayer point at all? Praise the Lord. For it's only been that Amen. Proverbs 27, 17 said, Iron sharpened iron. Praise the Lord. As a man's countenance empowers his friend, let us say, Our children will belong to the right association. Our children will follow the right peers. Our children will be founded in the right, the right commission. Lord, begin to decree in school they will have the right association. Lord, begin to declare that God, 
you will direct their footsteps to the right place. Wherever they are, they will find themselves in the right association, the right mind. They will share the right mind. Begin to speak unto the life of our children. That iron sharpened iron. Because if you have said this, then let them belong to the right carcass. Let them belong to the right society. Let them belong to the right church. Let them belong to the right Let them belong to the right people. Let them surround themselves with the right friends. Oh Lord, we ask of you for our children. We ask of you, Lord. They will not be misled. They will not be misled. No one will corrupt their mind. When the mind of a child is corrupt, when his thoughts are corrupt, when his imagination are corrupt, it becomes a challenge. It becomes a problem. That Lord, no one will corrupt their mind. No one will corrupt their mind. The mind of our children shall not be corrupt. No one will corrupt them, but they shall be empowered by the Spirit of God. They shall be empowered by the mind of God. They shall be empowered by the grace of God. Every child of this formation, we speak to you. We decree to you. We declare to you in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, every week of the month, you will be empowered with the right association. You will be empowered with the right association. You will be led by the Spirit of God. God will empower you. God will direct you in the name of Jesus. Only one of Israel, you are God. You are Jehovah. You are Most High. In the name of Jesus, let's begin to also pray that, oh Lord, every spirit of fear that wants to attack the mind and thought of as many as that people are through of the womb, let God remove them. Fear of oh, I will Fear of oh, I will not move on. Fear of oh, I will not get. Let me give it. Let's begin to stand against it. Let's begin to sit against it. Let's begin to oppose and deny it. Wherever that thought is coming from, wherever that spirit is coming from, trying to have an expression out of their mind and soul. Let's say, God, today we put them asunder. We remove them. We uproot them. We catapult them. And we delete them out of their mind and out of their reach. In the name of Jesus. The last prayer point. Let's say our children shall grow in status, in strength, and the spirit of God and wisdom will be founded in them. Someone begin to pray that prayer. Lord, for cause our children to grow in strength, in wisdom, in stature, and let the spirit of God and the grace of God be planted in them. Begin to ask God for that. Oh Lord, we thank you. We ask of you for this last empowerment that Father empower them. Let them grow in strength. Let them grow in status. Give them the wisdom and let your grace be planted in them. In our children, we thank you. We glorify you. We bless you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we glorify you. We say you alone is God. Thank you for prayers answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's, let's clap our hands for Jesus. Please, if you have testimony, please kindly see Pastor Chukudi for your counseling. Praise the Lord. If you have testimony, see Pastor Chukudi for counseling. We are going to pray for our nation, Nigerian. The Bible says in Psalm 122, verse 6, it says, for Pray for the peace of Jerusalem, and they that love thee shall do what? Shall prosper in it. So, to lift up this nation into the hands of God, first and foremost, let's begin to appreciate God for what God has been doing in this nation. And then, um, when we look back, we see that the rate of uh, terrorism has decreased. To some extent in this nation so we are going to place a demand on god and let's begin to thank god for his protection for his preservation for bringing down to those menace down lord to a lowest number prayers now in the name of jesus christ father we th we thank you faith one of israel we give you all the praise we give you all the honor we give you all adorations we give you thanks lord father we thank you for the security of this nation because it lies in your hands lord faith one of israel we place a demand on you we thank you for what you have been doing concerning this nation father we thank you for the peace that has been reigning in the northeast lord we thank you for the peace that have been reigning over the seven geopolitical zones in this nation father we give you all the thanks lord we thank you, Father, for your peace, Lord, that surpasses all understanding. Faithful one of Israel, we give you thanks. Lord, we give you all the praise. We thank you, Father. We thank you for reducing the Lord, the attack of Boko Haram, the attack of terrorism in this nation. Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for the victories that you have given to our to our armed forces, Lord. Faithful one of Israel, we give you all the thanks. Father, we give you all the praise. 
Lord, we give you all the honor. We give you all adoration. Mashanta le prasoko to ikaraba santa. Lembro sonto yende de 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 ikaraba santa. Libra masoko to yende bo santa lende abrosa. Rekete poko to ikaraba santa. Libra masonto yende bo Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. Lord, we give you all the honor. Father, we give you all adorations. Father, we give you thanks, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Brother, we are going to place a demand on God concerning our leaders, Lord. The Bible says we should pray for the, pe oh, the people yeah. in authority. We are going to lift up our leaders, Lord, in various oh, capacities, yeah. those in the state, in the federal level, and also in the local level, Lord, the local government level. We are going to lift them into the hands of God. We are going to place a demand on God concerning them. The Bible says in the book of Nehemiah, Nehemiah oh, prayed a prayer. Yeah. He, said, he said, Father, he said, he said, give us the heart and oh, the mind yeah. to labor, Lord. We are going to place a demand on God concerning yeah, yeah, the, uh, the, uh, our leaders in this nation, so Lord. Oh, even with the followers as well, that oh, God should yeah. give us the heart and the mind to labor. That we shall not just, we shall not oh, be singing yeah. our national anthem that say, hey, baby, 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 we sh that oh, part yeah. of the prayers that have, that have been bestowed on the our world, national anthem yeah. Lord, shall begin to find expressions in the lives of our leaders, oh, Lord, that we have called to oh, serve yeah. this nation faithfully. Pray us now in the name of Jesus oh, Christ. Yeah. Father, we lift up this nation, Nigeria, into your hands. We lift up the leadership oh, yeah. of this nation. We lift up the executive. We lift up the judicial. We lift up the, 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 the the, le the legislature. Father, we lift up the three tiers of government. Uh, we lift up the federal level, the state level, yeah, to the local yeah, government level. Yeah. Father, we place a demand on you, Lord, uh, that you give us the heart mm. and the mind to labor, Lord. Father, give us the heart and okay, the mind to labor. Yeah, Lord, we place yeah, a demand on you for the spirit of service. Uh, let it be find, let it find expressions uh, in our nation. Uh, Father, we place a demand on you. Father, give us the heart, give us the mind to labor, Lord. Give us the heart and the mind to serve this nation, Lord. Father, we place a demand on you. Father, we place a demand on you for that heart and the mind to serve, Lord. For the art of service, Lord, in this nation, Lord. Father, let service, let the spirit of service, let it be seen in this nation, the three tiers of government, Lord. Let it be seen, Lord, in our judiciary, let it be seen in our executive, let it be seen in our legislature. Lord. Father, we bless and demand on you for that spirit of service. Let him find the special. Father, we bless and demand on you for that spirit of service. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Brethren, we are going to place a demand on God concerning our leaders. We are going to ask for the wisdom of God to reign upon them, Lord. Concerning whatsoever they do in the office, oh Lord, that God should give them accountable of what they have done in the office, oh Lord. We're going to place a demand of God that God should give them the wisdom and the knowledge on how to lead this nation right, oh Lord. Pray us now in the name of Jesus Christ, Father Lord. We lift up, oh Lord, the leadership of this nation. Father, we ask for your wisdom. Man. We ask for your wisdom for directions, oh Lord. We ask for your wisdom for leadership, oh Lord. Everything that it requires, oh Lord, for them to deliver, oh Lord, for them to for them to do concerning this nation, oh Lord. Father, we place a demand on you for that wisdom, oh Lord. Your, the Bible says that uh, we should ask, oh Lord, and it shall be given unto us, oh Lord. Father, your word says that wisdom is the principal thing. Father, as we place a demand on you concerning the leadership of this nation, Father, we ask that you grant them wisdom, uh, wisdom to develop this nation, oh Lord. Father, we place a demand on you, wisdom to begin to actualize, oh Lord, even the development goals, oh Lord. Father, we place a demand on you, Lord. We place a demand on you. At the same time, let's be a demand on God that the right policies that will favor this nation, 
the right policy that will work for this nation. Let God begin to give them the wisdom to begin to implement it. Father, we promise for the right wisdom to begin to implement policy. Policy that will make for this nation. Policy that will work for this nation. Policy that will work in our economic sector. Policy that will work in our education industry. Policy that will work in our education system. Policy that will work even in our health sectors. Policy that will work in our oil and gas sectors. Father, we place a demand on you for that policy, for the wisdom, for directions. And Father, we place a demand on you that you grant them this. Your wisdom, Mashanta le prosoto. Oye dika ge re paso koto re pokoto ye ke te poso to we ask for the right policy we ask for a right policy to be implemented a policy that will make this nation grow for to father we bless the man of god le pa kata ye ke te pokoto yi kala ra ko se ke te yi kala ba yi pra ma son to ra na bo sha ta ye ke te pokoto yi kala ba re paso to ye ke te pokoto yi ke ma lu pra ye ka ta poso to ra da bo sha le de 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 yi kala ba sha ta at the center, let's get to speak blessings concerning this nation. Let this nation begin to grow water from strength to strength. Let's get to declare the blessing, the hands of God upon this nation. So Lord, let this nation begin to fruitful. Lord, let this nation begin to increase. Lord, let's get to declare the blessings of God over this nation. Father, we speak your blessings over this nation. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare, let your blessing, let you find expressions in this nation, so Lord. Let your blessings, let you find expressions in every sectors of the economy. Father, we speak increase, we speak growth, so Lord. We speak increase, so Lord. Father, we begin to lift up our GDP, so Lord. Let it begin to become robust. We begin to decree, so Lord, that our growth, so Lord, shall begin to increase by 6%, percent Lord. Bakata ye ke te pokoto yi karaba. Father, we begin to decree, O Lord, that this nation, O Lord, that this nation, O Lord, shall have constant power supply. Father, we begin to decree, O Lord, that development will begin to take place, O Lord, in every sectors of this nation. Development will take place, O Lord, even in the rural area, in the urban areas, O Lord. Father, we place a demand on you. Le pa sokoto yi karaba, le pa sokoto ye ke te ke te ke te, malupra ye kata. Posoto, Rarabo Santa, Lepa Casacata, Icaraba Santa, Reposoco to Icaraba, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Brother, we are going to pray one final prayer concerning our youth. The youth of this nation, we are going to place a demand on God concerning the youth because leadership is coming for to the youth, Lord. And the way I'm looking at it's only a few of the youth that are ready, Lord. We're going to place a demand of God that God should begin to steer up something in our youth, Lord. That God should begin to steer them up, Lord, for leadership in this nation, Lord. Pray us now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we lift up the youth of this nation, Lord. Father, we lift them into your hands, Lord. Father, we ask that you begin to steer them up, Lord. Father, we ask that you begin to wake up. We, we ask that you begin to wake up, Lord. The sleeping giants in them, Lord. Steer them up, Lord, to leadership in this nation the law ma shanta lepra sokoto repa koto ye ke te pokoto yi karaba lepra ma sonto ye rebo santa lepra ma koto yi karaba santa father we ask that you stay them up lord we ask that you stay them up lord we ask that you stay them up lord father as we are placing the demand on you for a battle shift lord to the youth of this nation's lord father we ask that you stay them up lord steer them up lord re kata pokoto yi karaba ma lupra ye kata posoto in jesus mighty name we pray Everlasting Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. We thank you, Father, for what you have been doing concerning this nation. We thank you for uh, the, uh, uh, we thank you for what you have been doing concerning our economy. We thank you for how you have taken us out of recession. Faith one of Israel, we say, may your name be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord, uh, on behalf of our leaders. Oh, Lord, Father, we thank you because we know that every prayers that we have prayed concerning them, it is answered in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, thank you, Father, because it is done. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Let's clap our hands for Jesus. Our hands together for the Lord. Praise the Lord. Of course, you know you can't see that when I am praying. Praise the Lord. Are you ready to pray tonight? We are going to be praying for our daddy, so you cannot see that when you are praying for him. Praise the Lord. 
So let us rise up on our feet. I want you to hold somebody. We are going to pray in agreement. We're going to pray for that in agreement. We're going to lift him up before the Lord. He's been praying for us. It is time for us to pray for him. Praise the Lord. So are you ready to pray for him and his family? Just hold somebody as we pray for him tonight. Nobody should sleep. Oh. Praise the Lord. Shall we just open our mouth and bless the name of the Lord for him and his family? This commission, the work God entrusted to him. Let us thank God for what the Lord is doing in his life and his family. Thank God for our mommy. Thank God for the children. Thank God for the servant of God. Thank God for the work the Lord entrusted to him. Prayers now. In the name of Jesus Christ. My Father, we want to thank you. Open your mouth and thank the name of the Lord. Let us appreciate him. Give him praise for our daddy. Let us thank God for his life. Thank God for his family. Thank God for his wife and the children. My Father, we thank you tonight. We worship you. We give you all the praise, all the glory, all the honor, all adoration. We thank you for your son. We thank you, oh God, for his family. Thank you for the work entrusted to him. King of kings and the Lord of lords, we appreciate you for what you are doing in, the, in his family. Thank you for what you are doing in his life. Oh, we worship and appreciate you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness, for your goodness, for your mercy, for your glory upon his life, oh God. Thank you for divine protection. Thank you for preservation. Thank you for your mercies and your glory upon his life. In the name of Jesus, we bless you, Lord. We worship you. King of kings and the Lord of lords, faithful one of Israel, we worship and appreciate you. Receive all the glory. Receive all the praise. Receive all the honor. Receive all adoration tonight in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. We are not ignorant of the devices of the enemies. So let us stand tonight against every ability of Satan. Anywhere they have gathered, the Bible says that surely the enemy shall gather. But because their gathering is not of God, they shall scatter for our sake. Wherever they have gathered against him, against his family, wife and children, this commission, the work God entrusted to him. Let's come against every gathering of the enemy, terminate every assignment of wickedness, destroy the works of the enemies. Prayers now in the name of Jesus Christ. Mashakata lebragade de boshata remba ba 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 handele le boshata mazeke kete le boshata laba rabrazande le le boshata la mahanda. My Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we stand tonight, O God, and lift up Your servant into Your hands, O God. My Father, we lift up the wife and the children into Your hands. We lift up the ministry entrusted to Him into your hands, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, we come against every gathering of the enemies. Anywhere they have gathered against him, against this commission, against his wife and children, my father, we come against every gathering of the enemies. We terminate all assignment of wickedness. We destroy the works of the enemies against his life in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody begin how to blot out every satanic handwriting. Scott to God's will for his life in the name of Jesus. Every hard writings of wickedness, every hard writings of the enemies against this commission, against the servant of God, against his wife and the children, open your mouth and begin to blot them out by the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we blot out all hard writings of wickedness, any satanic hard writings, contrary to God's will for his life, we blot them out, oh God, with the precious blood of Jesus. Every hand right is of wickedness against our mommy, against, oh God, our in the children, against our daddy, in the name of Jesus, against God's kingdom, power and glory ministries, we blot them out with the blood of Jesus. Oh, Oh, in Jesus' mighty name, Psalm 125, verse 3 says that the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot Jehovah appointed to his people. We are going.
come against every satanic rod over this commission, over his life, over the portion God appointed for him in the name of Jesus Christ. Come against all satanic rod of wickedness, every scepter of the enemies against our daddy, against his life, his children, the wife, and the portion God allotted for him. Come against such rod destroy the rods of wickedness terminate all assignment of the enemy against his life pray us now in the name of jesus christ father in the name of jesus christ we stand oh god upon your word that says that the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot oh god jehovah appointed to his people in the name of Jesus Christ, Mashantalama, every satanic rod, every demonic rod, every rod of the wicked over this commission, over the portion allotted to, to, to your son in the name of Jesus. We come against it, we destroy them in the name of Jesus, we eliminate all such rod of wickedness. My name was Sikatara Mahada. Oh, Rabba Baba Baba Baba. Oh, Mazen de Lebosha. Mazen de Leboshata. Oh, Rabba Baba Baba Baba. Mazen de Kete Leboshada. Rem Brazen de Lebosha. Mazen de Kete Leboshada. Oh, Rabba Baba Baba Baba. Hande de Lebo. Mazakantala Mashanda. Oh, Rabba Baba Baba. Hande de Leboshata. Lim Brazen de Lebosha. Lim Brazen de Leboshata. In Jesus' mighty name, can we have uh, Joel, Joel two, verse twenty six? Joel two twenty six. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are going to pray from 25. So I will restore to you the years that the Swami locusts had eaten, the crawling locusts, the consuming locusts, and the chewing locusts, my great army, which I set among you. You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God, who has dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. We are going to pray for God to restore the years. The canker worm, the caterpillar, the palma worm have eaten. In the, life, this, the word has been spoken and the word has gone forth out of the mouth of the Lord. That this year, that the book of remembrance shall be opened. To the advantage of the servant of God, to the advantage of this commission, and all that be of this commission. So we are going to pray. Anything that the enemy have eaten, whatever it is that that God should restore, all the years, caca worm, caterpillar worm have eaten in our lives, in this commission, in the life of our daddy, in the name of Jesus. Call for God's restoration, restoration of the grace of the anointing, restoration of every aspect, in every area that God should restore. The word has been spoken in this commission and it will never return to, God, to the Lord in vain. In the name of Jesus. Pray us now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you have spoken. Your word, O oh God, is yea and amen. And your word will never return unto you, O oh God, Lord. Tonight, oh God, we decree, oh God, upon this commission, upon the servant of God, upon his wife and the children, in the name of Jesus Christ, we call for the years the caca worm, the caterpillar worm, the palmer worm, oh God, has eaten. We call for divine restoration in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we call for your restoration upon this commission. Restoration of the grace of God. Restoration of the anointing of God. Restoration, oh God, of the power of God in his life in the name of Jesus Christ. In every aspect, let us call for God's restoration. The assignment and the work in this commission. Father, restore. Father, restore. In the name of Jesus, we call for your 
restoration. Malembo si katara mashanda. Oh raba baba baba handele lebosha. Mazende lebosha ta. Re maseke te leboshanda. Oh raba baba baba handele lebo. In Jesus mighty name. In Jesus mighty name. This prayer is coming to me and I don't want to let it go. We are going to decree upon his life, upon his family, that our daddy in the name of Jesus Christ will not fail. Amen. In this assignment, he will not fail. Amen. Failure is not his portion. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are going to stand and say tonight, Lord, we decree upon this commission, upon the life of the servant of God, our daddy shall not fail. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray us now. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we stand in agreement tonight, O oh God, and we decree, O oh God, in the life of your servant, Lord, we say in the name of Jesus Christ that your son will not fail. In this assignment, in this work entrusted to him, it shall not fail. In the name of Jesus, the children will never fail. The wife will not fail. In the name of Jesus, Rambo Sikatara Mashanda. Oh, Rabba Baba Baba Handele As we decree that our daddy shall not fail, let us also decree that he will not be ashamed. In the name of Jesus, according to that book of Joel 2, verse 26, that my people will never be ashamed in the name of Jesus. Father, as we decree tonight, O God, your servant will never be ashamed. Your servant, O God, will never be ashamed. He will never fail in this assignment, in his ministry, in his marriage, in his family, in the name of Jesus. Mashantala, mahandalaba, remba, baba, 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 oh, rabbo, sikatara, mashantala, Oh, Rabba Baba Baba Handel Lebo Shata. He will not be ashamed, oh God. In the name of Jesus, he shall not be disgraced. Malembo Sikata Laba. Oh, Rabba Baba Baba Handel Lebo Sha. Mazende Lebo. In Jesus' mighty name. Pray this prayer with me. This commission, the servant of God will build according to God's pattern. Praise the Lord. The Bible tells us that in God giving the instruction to Moses in, in, in the mountain. And the Bible says that Moses built according to the pattern that God showed him. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray for him. We are going to pray for this commission. That our daddy will build according to the pattern of God. In the name of Jesus. He will not deviate in his assignment. He will not deviate from his, uh, the work God has trusted to him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Pray us now. Father, we decree tonight, O oh God, we lift up your servant into your hands, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. You called him and you gave him, O oh God, the assignment in the name of Jesus. We decree, O oh God, upon his life that your servant will build according to your path. In the name of Jesus, Rambo Sikatala Mahada, oh Rabba Baba Baba Baba, Manzen de Lelebo Shata, Rimbra Zon de Lelebo Shata, he will build according to your pattern. In the name of Jesus Christ, he will not deviate, oh God, from his assignment. In the name of Jesus, Manlemo Sikatala Mashada, oh Rabba Baba Hande Lelebo Shata, oh Rabba Basen de Lebo, oh Mazeke Tikatala Mahada. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Please, can we see numbers? Numbers, big 15s. Praise the Lord. We have 15 foot, not verse 9. Look at verse 9. Bye. 
Uh, uh, numbers 9, 15. Sorry, Numbers 9, 15. There's a prayer I want us to pray. So, we are going to pray. When you read that scripture, Numbers 9, verse 15, says, On the day that the tabernacle was reared up, the cloud covered the tabernacle, namely, the tent of the testimony. And at evening, at eve, eve, there was upon the tabernacle as it were the appearance of fire until the morning. Verse 16. So it was always the cloud covered it by day and the appearance of fire by night. 17. And when the cloud was taken up from the tabernacle, then, then after that, the children of Israel journeyed. And in the place where the cloud abode, there the children of Israel pitched their tent. When you read that scripture, from that same chapter to the end, you will see how the children of Israel were moving according to the direction of the, of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Anytime the tabernacle, the, the, the cloud stayed in the tabernacle, the children of Israel remained in the tabernacle. They never moved. They will remain there as long as that cloud is upon the tabernacle. They are there in that place. But the day that the, tab- the, the cloud will moved and moved, they followed the crowd, cloud. Which means they we have followed God's direction. Anywhere God, the, the cloud above, they are there. If it is a month, they are there. If it's one year, they are there. But they, as long as that cloud is there, they are there. They never moved. But once the uh, cloud moved, they moved according to the cloud. Praise the Lord. Meaning that they were moving according to God's uh, purpose, according to, to God's direction. We are going to pray for that. That it will move according, it, it will move with the cloud of God. Our daddy will always move with God's cloud in any of his ministration, anywhere his ministry, that he will move with the cloud in the name of Jesus Christ. And I remember sometimes when you come for the service and he thinks he wants to uh, 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 preach, and the cloud, God says, No, no preaching today, just sing. That is God, somebody moving according to God's pattern, according to God's cloud. So tonight we are going to pray for him. Say, Lord, cause your servant to move according to your cloud in the name of Jesus. He will move at all times with your cloud in the name of Jesus. Pray us now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we ask, O oh God, that your Sabbath shall move, O oh God, O oh God, with your cloud. In this commission, in the work and the assignment, I trusted to him. He will move with your cloud. In the name of Jesus, he shall move with your cloud. In any ministrations, anywhere, O oh God, he stands and ministers. Your Sabbath will move with the cloud of God in the name of Jesus. He shall move with your glory. Man lembro sikatara mashanta. Rain ba 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 ba. Man zendele lebo shata. Rain ba kantore mashanta. Rain ba 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 ba. Handele lebo. Rain bra santa. Rain ma sikatara mashanta. Oh ra ba 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 ba. Man zendele lebo shata. Rain ba katara ma. In Jesus' mighty name. Above all, we are going to pray for God's protection. That God, the Bible says that he that dwelleth in the secret place, place of the Most High shall abandon all that shadow of the Almighty. We are going to pray for God's protection, preservation, his mercy, and his glory. Upon the glory, as the Lord to build a defense around him, around his wife, and the children, and every one of us. In the name of Jesus, pray us now.
the name of Jesus Christ, Mashan Talama, we call for your divine protection, O oh God, upon him, O oh God, upon, O oh God, every member of his family, wife and children. Lord, as for your son goes, I come, goes out, I come in, O oh God. We ask for divine protection in the name of Jesus Christ, your cloud of glory, upon the glory of God. Build the defense around him in the name of Jesus. In prayer, defense that no ability of the enemy shall be able to penetrate into the glory of your name. Man, lembo si katara mashaka. Lemba seke te lebo shanta lebo. Rabra zande lebo sha. Man seke te lebo shanta. Thank you, Lord. For he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abound under the shadow of the Almighty. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Faithful one of Israel, we bless you. Lord, we appreciate you tonight. We give you all the praise, all the glory, all the honor, all adoration. We thank you for your servant. Thank you for his wife and children. Thank you for this commission, the work entrusted to him. Lord, even as we have prayed, O oh God, so be it in the mighty name of Jesus. Cover him and his family with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Somebody praise the Lord. I'm happy to announce that it's offering time. Uh, I said offering time. Investment time. Hallelujah. Look at this scripture. Galatians chapter 6. Galatians 6 verse 7. Please open for us. Let's take our offering. Please package your offering as we give to the Lord. It says in Galatians chapter 6 verse 7. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth. That shall he do what? That shall he do what? Also. Don't miss that very word. Also reap. That shall he also reap. Verse 10. Please package your offering with the scripture that you are seeing. As we have therefore opportunity. I just want to take only that. As we have what? Opportunity. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. You have opportunity now. To be great, to be blessed. So package a good offering. Good offering for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Let us be on our feet. Hallelujah. So if he that soweth sparingly shall do what? And he that soweth bountifully shall do what? The scripture cannot be broken. Let's rise on our feet. As we begin to appreciate God with our offerings and begin to bless the Lord. Just begin to magnify him. In those days when it is offering time, in those days in church, people will go and ease ourselves. <laughs> Hallelujah. I say praise the Lord. In the children department. In those days in church of God mission. When we were in church of God mission, they would say offering time, children, all of us would say, ah, offering time, don't come. We go run, enter a bedroom. Go there. They, they, they tend ten that when our mama give us, we will take and buy it and come as we go. Somebody praise the Lord. And we didn't know we were deceiving ourselves. Let's rise on our feet with your offering. Hallelujah. Just begin to talk to God based on this scripture and say, Father, I have an opportunity tonight, Lord God Almighty, to bless my life, to increase my life. Just begin to talk to God with that offering in your hands and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, you have given me opportunity to be great. My father, as I give tonight to appreciate you for your faithfulness over my life, bringing me into this wonderful moon, the moon, Lord God Almighty, of grace, grace, grace. My father, have your way in my life. Lift up your voice and begin to talk to God. Just begin to appreciate God with that very offering. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we give you praise. Father, receive this offering from our hands and in return, oh God Almighty, bless us. My father, you said in your word that whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Father, may we reap bountifully tonight in Jesus' mighty name. As we cover our offerings with the blood of Jesus in Jesus' mighty name. Make sure you are dancing as you are dropping your offerings. God bless you. You are worthy of my praise. Nobody else. You are worthy of my praise. 
invisible God. You are my miracle worker. You are worthy of my praise. Invisible God. You are my miracle worker. You are worthy of Lord. You are worthy of my praise. 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 Invisible God. Invisible God. Oh yes, you are my miracle worker. You are worthy of my praise. Invisible God. Invisible God. You are my miracle worker. Oh my God. You are worthy of my. You are worthy of my. Do you mean it, brother? You are worthy of my praise. I say you may see the God. Hey, you are my miracle worker. You are worthy of my praise. You may see the God. You are my miracle worker. You are worthy of my praise. Can I hear your hands up to the Lord this morning? Come on. Can I hear your hands? Give him your clap. Give him your praise. Give him your thanks. He is faithful. My Lord, you are worthy of my praise. You are worthy, Lord. Only you are worthy of my thanks. You are the invisible God. Oh, you are the one that is doing it. Oh, you are worthy of my praise. Invisible God. You made the invisible, invisible. You are worthy of, Lord, you are worthy of my praise. You are worthy of my praise. Nobody else but you are You are worthy of my praise. Nobody else but you are God. You are my miracle worker. You are worthy of my invisible God. Invisible God. You are my miracle worker. You are worthy of my Lord. You are worthy of my praise. 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 Invisible God. You are my miracle worker. You are worthy of my invisible God. You are my miracle worker. You are worthy of my praise. Receive my praise, O Lord. Receive my praise, O Lord. All glory and honor I give unto you. Receive my praise, O Lord. Receive my praise tonight. Receive my praise, O Lord. Receive my praise, O Lord. Receive my praise, O Lord. All the glory, glory and honor I bring unto you. Receive my praise, O Lord. Oh, receive my praise, O Lord. 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 All the glory, glory and honor I bring unto you. Receive my praise, O Lord. Receive my praise, O Lord. Receive my praise, O Lord. Receive my praise, Receive my praise, O Lord. This morning, Lord. My glory, glory and honor I give unto you. you Lord. Receive my praise, O 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 Lord. All the glory, glory and honor I bring unto you. Receive my praise, O Lord. 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 All the glory, glory and honor we give unto you. Receive my praise, O Lord. Glory be to the Lord. I'ma sing hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord. Hallelujah. I say, glory be to the Lord. I'm a sing hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, honor, adoration to the Lord. Sing hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord. Hallelujah. He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our praise. Sing hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord. Hallelujah. Let him lift her up my head. He was the beat up of my soul. Praise. Glory be to the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, everything in me, one of bless his name. Glory be to the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, honor, and adoration be to the Lord. 
Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Be to the Lord. Glory be to the Lord. Hallelujah. All the glory be to the Lord. In our hearts. Hallelujah. Now that's like you are giving God the glory. Come on. Oshema. Oshema. Nebuchadnezzar refused to give God the glory. And he became an animal for seven years. Somebody, are you ready to give him the glory? Telling him not by might, not by power. It's your doing. Glory be to the Lord Lord. in the highest. Hallelujah. For your kindness. Honor be to the the Lord in the highest. Hallelujah. Everybody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is a mighty God. Mighty God. Jesus is a mighty God. So mighty God. Jesus is a mighty God. So mighty God. Jesus is a mighty God. So mighty God. Every power bound before him. So mighty God. Hallelujah. I won't beg you to dance. It's a personal race. And when the Lord is with you, you don't run race. You run by grace. If the Lord is not there, then the monk may shall be raised. But when you, the G stands for God comes into the picture it becomes grace when he comes into the equation the race becomes grace is somebody wanting the grace of the lord tonight if you want the grace you've got to dance you've got to move oh yeah come on this month of grace it is not my month of race I am not running a race but the G factor the God factor the G is added to the race and it becomes my grace Oh, 
You have to sing with insight. Some people are singing from their lips. They are just saying it. But if you sing with meaning from the bowels of your heart, the enemies that refuse to let you go, they shall bow tonight. Poverty shall bow tonight. Failure shall bow tonight. Disappointment shall bow tonight. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. I say, oh, Jericho, The wall of Jericho, The wall of Jericho, is the God that never fails. Allah, you are mighty. You are awesome. When you stand, who can battle with you? In this month of grace, the G factor comes into my race. As I go out and come in, I'm not running a race. The world is running a rat race. But I'm in the church. I'm in the house of the Lord. I'm not running a rat race. I'm running a grace race. If you believe me, shout hallelujah. Jesus is a mighty God. It's a mighty God. Jesus is a mighty God. It's a mighty God. Jesus is a mighty God. It's a mighty God. It's a mighty, mighty to deliver. It's a mighty God. It's a mighty, mighty to set you free. It's a mighty God. It's a mighty to change your life. It's a mighty God. It's a mighty to lift you high. It's a mighty God. Jesus is a mighty God. It's a mighty God. Every power bow before Him. It's a mighty God. It's a mighty God. Poverty bow before Him. It's a mighty God. Disappointment bow before Him. It's a mighty God. Let marriage bow before Him. It's a mighty God. Let my children bow before Him. It's a mighty God. Barrenness bow before Him. It's a mighty God. Misfortune bow before Him. It's a mighty God. Jesus is a mighty God. Mighty God. 
worship. Many people sing, worship, but they don't mean what they sing. You can be singing, but don't mean what you are singing. You can be singing, but you are just saying what you are singing. Do not sing what you are not convinced about. But if you know that Jesus is mightier than your problems, is greater than the greatest, is higher than the highest, is stronger than the strongest. Is bigger than the biggest, is wider than the widest. Somebody shout Jesus. Only ever by me, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just beg you, make you join me. I don't want to dance alone. Because when you join me in the dance, you would also get the blessing I'm getting. The Bible says rejoice with them that are rejoicing. When I'm dancing, don't be jealous. Just join in the dance. Shut your head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The dance where they dance. It's not because I am sick. It's not because I failed. It's not a dance of failure, but it's a dance of victory. Where you do, you do, better, better. Bend and shake your body, and shake your body, and move your body. I praise my Jesus. I praise my Jesus. Oh yeah, better. Right to the left, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. Grace and grace and grace and grace. Dance, oh she grace, dance, oh she grace, dance, oh she grace, dance, oh she grace, and it's all over logo. Matele Branda Boshande de Bosa, hey, the Bosa Tala, in this month of grace, you will call your name, Ewa Bami Jijo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your neighbor shall dance with you. Your enemy shall dance with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God! Now God is doing for me. It's not by might, not by power. It's a doing of the Lord. It's marvelous in my sight. Oh, oh, Let me just explain that. Now the husband will they pay for your dowry. The man that pays for your dowry. And the Bible says we are the bride. And Jesus is the bridegroom. And he paid a price on the cross of Calvary. And purchased me. I have been redeemed. I was bought with a price. 
Bolo wo wo mi bi e ma se Ha Bo du pete ko mi yo Oluwa 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 Bi a bo shada Oluwa Oluwa mi e sha Bolo wo wo mi bi e ma se Aye aye Bo du pete ko mi yo Unless Jesus did not die for you Unless Jesus did not pay the price Unless Jesus did not go through the cross of Calvary, but He paid the price for me and brought me salvation. My Jesus, honor honor me, my Savior, honor me, my Redeemer. Oh, you better call me, oh, 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 I want to dance, I want to praise, I want to praise, I want to dance, I want to clap unto my Jesus, unto my Savior, unto my helper, unto my lover, unto Redeemer, unto Restorer, Jo, Go, Jo, 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 Ah, in Jo, Jesus, Jo, 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 Ah, in Jo, Jesus, Jo, Jo, in Jo, Jesus. He just came from the throne of grace. God just put it in my mouth. I didn't plan that song. Morning, Joe. Some people are dancing before a shrine. But I'm dancing in the presence of the Lord. He chose me. What he chose me. He chose me. He chose me. God is good. He has done me well. Oh my soul, rise up and praise the Lord. My Savior is all that is good to me. He has done me well. Oh my soul, my soul, rise up and praise the Lord. This good. My God is good. He has done me well. He has done me 
Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oshe Jehovah the covenant keeping God of Israel he respects the covenant, brother. Get judge Yoga, judge Yoga. My sisters, get judge Yoga, King Bonnie, judge Yoga. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! He is taller than the tallest. He is higher than the highest. Oh He is mightier than mightiest. Oh He is stronger than the strongest. Arabata ribiti. Arabiti rabata. Oko awarubo. Baba wala ni baba. Oh, yigi, 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 yigi. Arubo ocho. Oba to ga 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 tani ko riri. Alabara. Olorun pastor bi pe nwa ndo se oluwa. Akorun to nbe nu omo ni to korun ni. Ato ba jaye. Alagbada yi no. Aba o. Allah wo tele orun Allah gbe Oba to nbe ni bi to ga ju awon oru lo Oluwa se Ka bi esi re o alagbara o E ru ona lorun gbogbo agbaye E ro ito gbogbo agbaye pata pata Alagbada ka bi ka bi Alagbada ka bi ka bi Papa mi o won kere mi ja Papa o Enjo yo lu wa lo go Somebody shout hallelujah This is the time for Oriki We are in the Oriki session Somebody the presence of the Lord is here Oh yeah Oh yeah Yeke 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 Aru po jo Baba wa lo yi mi baba Hey Aru ja 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 So me Uh-huh. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> Ba ba mi o, a a la ba o ye, e le ti lu karabi a jere, le ti ba o ye, a ba tonga kwa la 
ye opela ni momuwa opela la baribi olorun obi pe wa ndu o oba to gbe lori oke si oni o o yan si oni layo ninu gbogbo ke to be ni israel iwo ni mo fo pa fun iwo ni mo fi fun ha o yi ki 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 hey दुनिया <laughs> हुआ माये Oni obani o obani o obani o obani obani o obani o obani o obani Ka pe si o obani a o baba agbalagba oye o Ako bi ninu awon oku Mo yin o mo gbe oga Hey oba to n gbenu ijo God kingdom to fo n jade Hey oro to gbenu pastor bi kwe wa ndu o Oba to so lori buruku jo lori ire O sa la ki sajo ni station O sa gan do lomo kabiesi 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 bonika ka 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 kabiesi o asho bonika kaka 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 he kaka 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 moni kaka 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 kabiyo siyo kabiyo siyo oba won oba o alade ogo he ajagun ba je o le orun olusola akisola eni bere eni o pe ni baba mi o hey o pe ja o ni ja keru o pe ni ja o mo yin o mo yin o mo yin o oba to fi di aye so le lori oku eh eh ni ki yo fi le ye titi lai lai o ha hey o pe pa so bi pe i ran di jade oro mo ni se fa ya ti o iwo lo ro pa so bi pe wa ndu ni se ha oba to so pe pe soro aye mi o kabiesi olola to ju olola lo agbalagba to ju gbogbo awon agbalagba lo o oba to gaga 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 tani ko ri he oba to fun mi ni osu ori ofe boju pe o ja ka yo bere pe ni bola lorun mi wa o mo tu pe mo yin o mo pe oga alagbara alagba wi oba to ri le ti je apa afefe o oba to fi e fun fun le le se oju se re o इंटरप्रीति तंग आनु इसोरी ऑफ है, ग्रेस इसोरी ऑफ है। 
Oh, yeah. When the blessing that too much, you say, Hey, hey, ah, Moni, what's your meal? Papa, my logo, my logo, my father, 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 you are mighty. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, God of Abraham. You are mighty. He is a God of Isaac. You are mighty. He is a God of Jacob. You are mighty. He is a God of grace. You are mighty. He is a God of mercy. You are mighty. He is a God of favor. You are mighty. Money shall be one of the joy of the Money shall be in love for joy of the Money, you are mighty. You are mighty. You are mighty. You are mighty. You Romi, Romi, Psalms 22, verse 3. The Lord God inhabits the praises of His people. Ode, welcome, Ode, welcome, Lord, Ode, Ode, Babade, Ode, God, Ode, welcome, Kabi Eside, Ode, Ode, Tima Ode, Allah Kabide, Ode, Olade, Olade, Sabi, Ode, Ode. Paul and Silas were in the prison and as they were praising God he came like earthquake and there was a quake in the prison and the chains had to fall off Allah the Hura is coming now any chain that is tying you I don't know the chain I don't know the rope I don't know the thing binding But the God of miracle Is here tonight And when he enters the prison The chains must fall off On their own accord Morning Welcome. <laughs> Incredible Santa Laraba, Ode, 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 God of Asa, Ode, Ode, the God of Grace, Ode, O Malade, Urade, Sa, Ode, Ode, Malade, Urade. Obani, I feel the presence of the Lord. 
Hey, Somebody shout Oh Oh, 
worship. Oh, I'm 
on my side the enemies would have split me up but by my God I have gone through a troop and by my God I've lived over the world Lerebo Shanda Bo Sande Rebo Sa Bike Rebo Sherebo My God he could do it Hey good do it Hey my God he could do it Hey my God he could do it Hey good do it He gets it one time for my life, oh, he be like say my whole life don't get me at all. I don't no get to work, I don't no get to money. No put to me, I don't close to work. I come pray to my God, oh, he come answer my prayer. He come put on my life, sugar my friend, sugar my tea. Now I go to work, oh, I don't get get money. I don't them do better I don't believe better than I come to celebrate. Woo! You know they celebrate. We are not celebrating. Oh, I can't celebrate. Yeah. This is how you celebrate oh, your birthday. I can't celebrate. Yeah. I can't jubilee. Yeah. I can't celebrate. Yeah. I can't jubilee. Yeah. I can't celebrate. Yeah. I can't jubilee. Yeah. 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 I go give you back. Yeah. I go press up my watch. I go give you back. Yeah. I go press up my watch. I go give you back. Yeah. I go press up my watch. I go give you back. Yeah. My God is a good God. Yes, he He's a good God. Yes, me. Oh, my God is a good God. Yes, me. I say, my God, you are a good God. Yes, me. Oh, my God, you are a good God. Yes, me. I say, he lifts me up. 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 He turns me around. 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 I say he bless my feet. He bless my feet. I say he bless my feet. He bless my feet. Upon the solid rock. 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 The solid the solid I feel like shouting. Somebody shout at me. Just appreciate the God who has placed your feet upon the solid rock. So you can sink. On oh, Christ, the solid rock, I stay. All of the ground is sinking. Oh, 
Lord All the ground is sick in sand. In this month of May, the second third of the year, my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' love and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest spring, but holy link on Jesus' name, on Christ the Son, mid rock I stay all on the ground. Sinking sand, all all the ground is sinking sand. On Christ the solid rock I stand. On Araba Shada by Araba Araba is sinking sand. All the ground is in Daily as I live, often as I breathe, may my whole life be expression of your grace in this month of grace. Daily as I live, often as I breathe, may my whole life be expressions of your grace. We cry, we cry, Abba Father, hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your We cry, my Father. We cry, my Father. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. One more time, raise your voice, everybody. Raise your voice, everybody. We cry, my Father. Hello, I be your name. Hello, I be your name. Hello, I be your name. I just love the solo of the song. It's a prayer to God, it's a request. Lord, in this month of May, daily as I live, often as I breathe, may my whole life be a expression of your grace. Daily as I live, often as I breathe, may my whole life be expressions of your grace. I want everybody to sing with me. Daily as I live, daily as I live, often as I breathe, often as I breathe, may my whole life be expression. May my whole life. The expressions of your grace daily, daily as I live, daily as I live, often as I breathe, often as I breathe, in my whole life, in my whole life, the expressions of your grace. One more time, daily as I live, daily as I live. As I breathe, as I breathe, may my whole life, my whole life, be expression. One more time. Now, everybody, daily, daily, daily as I live, daily as I live. Let me hear you sing it. as I live, may my whole life, may my whole life. The expression of one more time. Daily, daily in this month of May. Daily.
As I breathe in every second, now for my side, be my whole life, be my whole life, be a special of your grace. It's a prayer. My whole life will be an expression of struggle. Some people's life is an expression of race, struggle, striving, labor, stress. But my life shall be an expression of grace in my job, my finances, in every area of my life. My vision, my purpose, my calling, my marriage, my sign, my whole life shall be an expression, a display, a demonstration, a manifestation of the grace of God. Daily as I live, daily as I live, often as I breathe, often as I breathe, may my whole life, may my whole life be expression of Your grace. Daily as I live, daily as I live, often as I breathe. The expressions of we cry, we cry, we cry, Abba Father, we cry, Abba Father, We cry, our heavenly Father. Hello, happy your name. Hello, happy your name. Hello, happy your name. Just say it again. We cry, Abba Father. Hello, happy your name. Hello, happy your name. Hello, be your name. Just hear it one more time. We cry, Abba Father. You go up. Hello, be your name. Then you come down. Hello, be your name. Up again. Hello, be your name. We cry, Abba Father. Hello, be your name. Hello, be your name. Hello, we be your Hello, we be your We cry of a father. Hello, we be your Hello, we be your Hello, we be your Hello, we be your We cry of a father. Hello, we be your Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Hello, happy your name. God of majesty, Adabo Shakarabaya, divine utter 
everything. Oh, I know I believe your name. I know I believe your name. I know I believe your name. Somebody worship tonight. Worship tonight. Hello, I be your name. Hello, I be your name. Your name. God of majesty. God of majesty. Divine authority. Hello, One more time, raise the voice. Hello, 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 When a majesty, God of majesty, divine authority, divine authority, oh, I know I be your name. I see God of majesty, majesty, divine authority, authority. I love me your name. I call you the one that is God the Majesty. We are you. Divine authority. authority. Oh, I love me your name. Just sing that line. God of Majesty. God of majesty, divine authority, divine authority. Oh, I know I be your name. All heavens declare the glory of the living God. The glory of of the living God, who can compare? Who can compare with the beauty of the risen King? We are beauty of the risen land forever, forever you will be. Forever you will be the lamb upon the throne. The lamb upon the throne. You are the lamb upon the throne. A gladly bow my knee. Gladly bow my knee. I worship you, Lord. In the small of this, forever you will be. Wherever you will be, my love, wherever you will be, you are the land upon the truth. You are the land upon the truth. Bow before my knees, my Lord, gladly bow my knees. Worship you, Lord. One more time, raise your voice. Do you love him this morning, somebody? We lift your name. Yeah. Yeah. 
May your kingdom, may your kingdom be established in our praises as your people. We declare your mighty God. Blessed, blessed be the Lord, Lord, the mighty who is worship. Blessed be One more time. One more time. One more time. Blessed be the God, the mighty, who was blessed be the Lord. In the highest, Amen. For His mercies and grace endure forever. Amen. In my life, for His mercies endure forever. Glory be to God. Glory. To God in the highest, in the highest, glory be, be to God, glory be to God, in the highest, for his mercies, mercies, and God forever, amen. Mercies. His mercies never come to end. They are new every morning. They are always new every morning. Great is thy 
Hadi, you are Alpha and you are Omega. We worship you, awesome God. You are worthy to be praised. We give you all the God, great are you, Lord. You are Alpha and Omega. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Oh, you are the King of Kings. Great are you, Lord. You are infinite majesty, great are you, Lord, the beginning and the end, great are you, Lord, great are you, and great are you, Lord. So greatly to be praised, you are greatly to be praised, my Father, you reign, great are you, Lord, you are greatly to be praised, you are greatly to be praised. My Father, I say, great are you, Lord. You are greatly to be praised. Oh, Lord, you are greatly to be praised. My Father, you reign. Great are you, Lord. You are greatly to be praised. You are greatly to be praised, my Father, awesome God, great are you, Lord, and greatly to be praised, my Lord, you are greatly to be praised, oh, Father, you are great are you, Lord, you are greatly to be praised. Oh Lord, you 
you are great with you be praised Father I say Father great are you Lord you are great with you be praised my Lord you are great with you be praised Father you reign great are you Lord you are greatly to be praised Lord you are greatly to be praised my father somebody tell him what Lord are you Lord you are greatly to be praised you are greatly to be praised my father you reign great are you Lord, greatly to be praised, so greatly to be praised, my Father, you reign. You are an awesome God. Awesome God, how great thou art, you are my Lord, you are God, the mighty are your miracles, we stand in awe of your hope. And worship you. You are an awesome God. Awesome. Somebody God. tell him how great thou art. How great you are alone at God. You are God. God. God and mighty. Are your miracles which we stand in awe of your holy name? O Lord, we bow and worship you. One more time, call him awesome God. Awesome God. Let me be changed. 
Somebody open your mouth and tell oh, her, Lord, let me be changed in your, your presence. presence. Feasting at your table I want to be surrounded by your glory In your presence That's where I always want to be Oh my Lord, I just want to be with you, oh Lord, I want to be where you are, dwelling in your presence, feasting at your table surrounded by your glory in your presence that's where I always want to be awesome God I just want to be with you. He touched me, my Savior touched me. And oh, what joy now fills my soul. Something, something happened. And now, now I know that Jesus touched me and made me whole. My master touched me. Yes, he touched me. The Redeemer touched me. And oh, what joy now fills my soul. Something, something happened. And now, now I know that Jesus touched me and made me Christ lives All my fears They are gone Because I know He holds My future 
my life is what a living just because he lives I'm a new creation a new creation I am a brand new man I'm a brand new man all things they are passed away I am born again I am more than a conqueror That is who I am I'm a new creation I am a brand new man Because he lives because he lives I can face tomorrow Oh yes Because Christ lives All my fears are gone Because I know He holds my future my life is what a living just because he lives and he's my miracle worker Lord you are my miracle worker daddy Come oh, and do my miracles, my miracles today. Come and do my miracles, my miracles today. Destiny changer, destiny changer. You are my destiny. Changer, you are my destiny. Oh Lord, come and change my destiny. Oh, yes. My yes. destiny today. Oh Lord, come and change my destiny. My destiny today. History rewriter. History rewriter. History rewriter. History rewriter. Come rewrite. Come rewrite my history. My history today. Jehovah, come rewrite my history. My history situation changer situation changer you are the situation changer come and change come and change my situation change my situation today oh lord come and change my situation change my situation oh your name is Yahweh your name is Yahweh you are the miracle of King God your name is Yahweh oh my Lord your name is Yahweh Your name is Somebody tell him three more times Your name is Yahweh You are the miracle of King God Your name is Yahweh Two more times Oh Yahweh you are the miracle of King God. Your name is Salah. Tell him one more time. Your name is God. Hallelujah. You are the miracle of 
God dimension in a man's race. God entering into a man's boat. God waking up in your boat in the midst of that storm. That's all it will take. The time has come. to favor Israel to change somebody's story to move someone from zero to hero the time to read out of the book of somebody's book of remembrance and visit that person like you visited Mordecai the time has come oh God arise let your enemies be silent forever let the change come tonight let the transformation come tonight do what only Jehovah can do in the affairs of man Weeping has endured. But the morning that brings the dawning of a new day and the wiping of the tears has come. Use somebody a contact point for the family he comes from, she comes from. Do an eternal work. That changes the destiny of the entire family. Let this be the day of the encounter. Awesome spirit of the living God. It does not take Jehovah long to do great things. For your own name's sake and to your glory. Do it today. In Jesus' mighty name. Jesus name Hallelujah If you're for this program Can we all come together and sit down God bless you Good morning praise him Thank you very much He Will do Great things He will do great things 
He will do great things. We praise His holy name. Hallelujah. Five is the number of grace. This is the fifth month of the year. Miracle night, Friday was the 5th of May, the 5th day of the 5th month. May double grace be released upon your life. May all the benefits of grace doubled find full expression in all areas of your life in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. That's it, there's music I am hearing. Is it coming from inside this hall? Outside this hall? Amen. Check if you're feeding music from somewhere into this place. Hallelujah. Tonight, by the grace of God, I want to share on a specific aspect of grace. Before we pray, the Lord started this year with us by telling us the book of remembrance has been opened to your advantage. We just got through with Easter, and we are still in the Easter season, resurrection power season. Praise the Lord. Can I have just a little more volume on the top, please? And now, grace kicks in as we consider the three in combination. The Bible says the threefold cord is not quickly or easily broken hallelujah when God says I've opened the book of remembrance we've explored that extensively in prayers and studies in teachings since January and we'll still continue but to rehearse in prayers and in studies and get new insight as the Spirit helps us. We know a little about resurrection power. Some of us recall some of the things that make Good Friday good. The great mysteries of the things that happened on the Easter weekend, 2,000 plus years ago. The mystery of divine earthquake that rent rocks, split graves, tore the Midian partition that separated us from the Holy of Holies. The veil in the tabernacle that was Reputed to be 18 inches thick. Hallelujah. We remember that on that morning, as the disciples came to the grave on the third morning to anoint the body or rather the women came, they had anxiety in their hearts. Who will roll away the stone for us? They arrived to find the stone had already been rolled away. The need had already been met. The problem had already been solved. I prophesy that these and every other blessing 
of the resurrection weekend, the Easter weekend, resurrection morning, will find full expression in all areas of your life. That all rocks that had resisted your advancement in life, you will suddenly recognize that they've been rolled away. I mean that the opposition that had stood in your way, you just wake up to find it gone. The person that said it would not happen will be as a thing of nothing. You'll wake up to find that the help you desired, required, even feared to ask for, wondered where you were going to get from, you wake up to find that you no longer need the help. Amen. That the problem had been solved. Amen. You know, when we talk of the women arriving in the grave and finding the stone rolled away, there's a piece of paper I still put, have here. A piece of paper is dated 9th of December. This month of March, I was wondering how we were going to pay rents in this place. Three million naira. And I had no unction to raise an offering. Because I don't raise an offering because there's a need. I raise an offering because there's an unction. And I had no unction. And it was just a day or two before the rent was due. That I called and said, somebody said something about paying this rent. Please, can you give me, is there any piece of paper he filled? Let me remind him of what he said he would do. And they said, paper. What? And they said, the money is in the bank. Which money is in the bank? The money he said he would pay for the rent is in the bank. This was March. How do you mean it's in the bank? It's been there since December. And then they brought me this piece of paper. And the piece of paper says attached is the check. 9th of December. For four months, Jehovah had rolled away the stone. It was when we arrived there we discovered there was no stone at all. I prophesy over somebody. That thing that is frightening you now, you'll arrive there to find that fear is advance payment for something you will never have to buy. Because by the time you arrive there, it won't be there. That thing will be gone. God would have rolled away the stone in Jesus' mighty name. On resurrection morning, they came and they looked in. They saw nobody. The body was gone. And Mary lamented, where have you taken him, my master? The angel said, why seek ye the living amongst the dead? Again, a situation like his stone being rolled away. Death represents hopelessness. But he was living, he was not dead. Death has finality, case closed. It was at that time they recognized that the one they thought was dead was very much alive. I prophesy unto somebody today, please put the sound how it was before. I prophesy to somebody this morning, that that situation you had given up on, you will find that God has perfected it. It is already a done deal. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The capital somebody under the sound of my voice was looking for. I am authorized to tell you that Jehovah has provided. I don't know who you are. But I know now I know that gear has shifted in the spirit now. And I'm talking to somebody directly. That money you had required, 
God says I have provided it. When they looked into the grave, Peter and the other disciple saw the grave clothes lying and the headpiece separate. Grave clothes are those things that symbolize death, speak of death, make one appear dead even though alive, incapacitated. Lazarus come forth, he came forth but wrapped in grave clothes. He was still bound, oppressed. Demonic bondages render people who are alive incapacitated. There are covenants and claims of the negative supernatural that are delayed, covered, hidden, prevented, subverted. The glorious blessings are pointed unto somebody under the sound of my voice. Through sickness, through poverty, through powerlessness, through weaknesses of diverse kinds. By the mystery of the resurrection season, I prophesy the removal and elimination of all your grave clothes. Everything that looks like death. Everything that causes incapacity. And especially the napkin that covered the head was sacred. Because there was a purpose. The head is the biggest sensory center. The control center of human life. The eyes, the ears, the nose, the mouth. And the brain are all there. And every one of these organs thinks, talks of control and sensitivity. Discernment of spirits. I pray that the napkin that covered the head, every demonic paraphernalia that prevented spiritual sensitivity as well as prevented alertness mental, they are removed from your life. Amen. By a special dispensation of divine grace. I command that every spirit of insanity. Loss of memory. Loss of thinking and reasoning faculty. You find you are no longer as sharp in your thoughts as you used to be. You, you have the mind of Christ. You have the mind of Christ. Somebody's alertness, somebody's acumen, somebody's intellect receive divine sharpening. You have the mind of Christ in Jesus' mighty name. There's somebody under the sound of my voice. The intellect and mind of a child was tampered with. A child connected with you was tampered with by the mystery of the napkin removed whatever the enemy put in is removed whatever the enemy removed is restored in the name of Jesus Christ resurrection power Jesus rose on Emmaus Road. They encountered him. And as they talked with him, the Bible account says he opened their understanding. When your understanding is opened, you don't see as men see or think as men think or reason as men reason. Of a truth, you begin to function in the realm of the spiritual controls the physical. I prophesy that the mystery of resurrection power in this season brings the opening of your understanding. You will have understanding in business. You will have every understanding required for you to have mastery in the name of Jesus Christ. He saluted 
The angel saluted Mary. Peace be unto you. In this resurrection season, whatever had tampered with your peace, Jehovah executes judgment on them. Amen. Their places shall no more be found in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. As Mary recognized Jesus and turned to embrace him, said, touch me not. I have not yet ascended. Whatever had touched you, whatever had access to you, spiritual husband, spiritual wife, demonic spirits, principalities and powers, territorial influences, everything that hitherto had been able to touch you, the Lord says, touch not mine anointed. Do my prophets no harm. I decree this morning of double grace. In this season of double grace. That that divine injunction goes forth again. Concerning your family. Concerning your dear ones. Concerning your marriage. Concerning appointed blessings. Concerning your children. Touch not my anointed. Do my prophets no harm. In Jesus mighty name. May the fullness of the blessings of all he procured through resurrection find comprehensive expression in your life. If Satan could not stop Jesus from rising, he will not be able to stop you from manifesting what he procured for you in his rising. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please hear me this morning. If Satan is trying to deceive you, checkmate him by taking a walk. Amen? Somebody. I want us to take a look at a particular area of grace this morning. The way so many people nowadays define grace is not what grace is. In fact, when they are talking grace, they are defining license. They are defining permission to do what is wrong. Nowadays, when you hear people switch off that, you know what to do. When people talk about grace nowadays, they talk about sin and then they use grace to cover it. Amen? I got a phone call some time ago and a lady spoke and said, Pastor, is that Pastor be one? I said, yes. She said, every time I listen to your message on television... The only thing I hear is condemnation. Condemnation. Where is the place of grace in your message? I said, sister, good evening, first of all. Because she just hit me with the thing between the eyes. And I said, good evening. But sister, what's the true problem? I perceive in my spirit that you have a problem with sexual immorality. And that is where the real problem lies. And the message is not giving you the license you want. You want me to justify your immoral acts. By telling you that grace covers you. Say, yeah, but where is the place of... I say, sister, I agree with me first. Are you married? Yes. Do you have a problem with sexual immorality? She hesitated a while and she said, yes. She said, the problem is that you've been confronted by your sins. But you're looking for grace to cover your head like blanket and umbrella. And that is not what grace is for. What grace does for you is, 
I will not live this life of sin anymore. I cannot help myself. But I come boldly before the throne of grace to obtain mercy and help in this time of need so that I will overcome the temptation that has been bedeviling my life. Grace does not cover sin. Grace gives you God's ability to overcome sin. The way most people talk about grace today, hey, he fell into sexual immorality. In fact, he came out of the bed of sexual immorality and then he had accident and died. Thank God for grace. Grace will not cover him. Some, some, if he didn't bring repentance and make things right with God, he's on his way to hell. Am I communicating with anybody here? That's not grace. Grace is not license. Praise the living God. Nowadays, we finish sinning and we say, hey, thank God for grace. So if not for grace, where would I be? With the same place you are, on the way to hell, unless there is repentance and forsaking. Am I talking to anybody here? Grace does not prevent hell. Grace gives you ability to overcome sin. Power to have dominion over sin. I'll be more detailed than that tomorrow by the grace of God. So let me give my definition of grace relevant to what I'm teaching today. God at work in us. Grace is God at work in us. Through us and for us. To enable us accomplish his will. To enable us accomplish his will first and foremost. And to do in us. To do with us. To do through us. What we can't do by ourselves and probably don't even deserve. God at work in us, through us and for us, to enable us accomplish his will first, to enable us accomplish his will, and to do in us, to do with us, to do for us, and to do through us what we can't do by ourselves and probably don't even deserve. While Lawrence was leading praise and worship, I heard him from my office. Said, God, in my race. And that is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Grace is God in my race. God running my race in me and through me. The God factor has entered my race of life. When God factor, God's grace, God's ability comes into your life, there will be a change. Something will happen. When God's grace, God's presence, God's ability and capabilities enter your boats, the storm will cease. When Jesus wakes up in the boat of your life, I don't care how tumultuous the sea had been, there will be a difference. I prophesy that in this month of double grace, Jehovah has entered your race. God running in you, with you and through you, that race of your life, there must be a testimony. God at work in your life, in your family, in your business, there must be a manifestation. Amen. I'm here to inform somebody that your triumphal procession has started. Amen. You're riding in the chariot with Jesus. Amen. I am here to tell somebody that the master has woken up in your boat. This month of May, your change will come in Jesus' name. For Romans 8 states in verse 31, What shall we then say of these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? When Jesus, when God Almighty enters your situation, your business, your home, your marriage, 
And you've been invoking and calling him since. It sounded and looked as if he was not paying attention. This month he will arrive. Amen. This month he has come. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Verse 32 of our Romans 8 says, He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us many things? All. All. Your change is coming by force, by fire. He has given the men the men. His son has died already. Whatever is resisting the works that his son died to accomplish in your life, that thing will give way as the master wakes up in your boat in Jesus' mighty name. He goes on in verse 33 to say, Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? Which man will what I will accuse you? Which spiritual husband will claim you? Which ancestral covenant will say you belong to me? Which demon spirit will say your ancestor said? Your ancestor did? Who shall lay any charge, anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God himself that does what? Justify it. This month you shall be justified. You shall be justified from the accusation of ancient covenants, ancient claims, ancient demonic transactions that your forefathers entered into. They shall cease to speak. Amen. Nothing can be laid to your charge anymore. It is finished, he said. Finished. Who is he that condemneth? Mami, what are no it is the same Christ that died for you yeah rather he's risen again who is even at the right hand of God who also is your intercessor it's the same one that condemns do you understand what this is saying grace is the righteousness of God as a judge Sitting in trial over you. That has found you guilty and passed sentence on you. And sentenced you to imprisonment or to a fine. Then grace gets down from the judges too. And puts on a father's garment. A savior's robe. And says I will pay for him the fine that I imposed on him by myself. And I will now take him and make sure I keep him out of trouble by training him myself. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Grace in your life. God at work in you, with you, for you, through you. To do with you what you don't deserve. Have you ever seen a criminal that called George and said, pay my fine and set me free? Which mouth would he use? That's, in fact, the case is so bad that you, there's no way you can even begin to ask for mercy. That's when grace steps in. And in verse 38, it concludes by saying, For I am persuaded. I am completely assured. I've come to realize and recognize, convinced beyond any doubt whatsoever that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come nor height nor depth nor any other creature shall be able in any wise to do what? To separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus Grace is that love that comes to you in Christ Jesus. Nothing. I don't care what your ancestors did. That's why in this season of double grace, I prophesy that whatever had laid claims to you has no choice but to let go. You won't even know when they are gone. In the name of Jesus Christ, the master has awoken in your boat. 
ancient claims, ancient demands, ancient charges placed against you, whether through curses, covenants, father's side, mother's side, they are terminated by fire. Hey, you need to understand something. Lagos is 50 years old. Eh? What is 50? Years. Jubilee. What happens at Jubilee? <laughs> I want to tell somebody that it is not only five, there's also 50 involved. Am I talking to somebody here? The Jubilee has been declared. Amen. Jubilee. Look, let me tell you what Jubilee is saying. Especially in Lagos. Ancient transactions <laughs> that original Lagosians made on this land that is making things difficult for the church and for Christians. You need to wake up and recognize that all of them have expired. Amen. All of them have that is, let my people go. But when Jehovah said, let my people go, the people had to do one thing. And that is when many people are going to miss it. The people had to go to their former masters and say, bring your gold. Bring your silver. Bring your landed property. Power and ownership must change I prophesy that the tenant is about to become a landlady, a landlord in this Lagos. I prophesy that what had held you bound has given up on you. And you're not just moving out, you're moving out spoiling the land with the riches of the land in the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy that grace in addition to jubilee in addition to resurrection power in addition to divine remembrance is speaking in your life Amen. I don't know what can even delay you a moment your change must come by force by fire the land must yield you its increase. The set time to favor you is now. In Jesus' mighty name. Luke 8, Mark 4. Luke 8 from 22 on. Mark 4 from 35 on. Jesus in the boat. Let us cross over. Luke 8, 23. But as they sailed, he fell asleep. And there came down a storm of wind on the lake. And they were filled with water. And they were in jeopardy. And they came to him and awoke him saying, Master, Master, we perish. Then he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the water. And they ceased and there was a calm. And he said unto them, Where is your faith? And they being afraid, wondered, saying one to another, what manner of man is this? For he commanded even the waters, the winds and waters, and they obey him. Hear me, child of God. I recognize that in somebody's life, the master had been in your boats. You're born again, you've answered, but it appears he fell asleep somewhere in the journey. Hello, somebody. This month of May, he has woken up. The master has woken up. I want you to understand that you need to appreciate him and thank him. Take note of the fact that from the beginning when he set off or you set off, the journey has been tumultuous, difficult, challenging. The boat has been filled with water, but the boat did not sink. How did you make it in January? How did you make it in February? What brought you through March? If some of you sit down with pen and paper and calculate your known income versus your known expenditure, you will understand what I'm talking about. The water filled the boat a long time ago, but the boat did not sink. You're not owing anybody. 
But what you earn is less than what you spent. Where did the difference come from? How were the bills paid? Am I talking to somebody here? Somebody has not realized that grace has been speaking upon you. But it is now the season of double grace. Grace kept you afloat till this time. Double grace will set you in flight in Jesus' mighty name. The master woke up and rebuked. He rebuked curses. He rebuked storms. Everything that had brought a storm into your life. Every ancient voice of wickedness. Every belching spirit that had been spoken out by workers of iniquity. That generated waves and winds in your life. The master has spoken to them. In this season they will hear his voice. Peace be still. That's what he said in Mark 4. And instantly, all of those things that had been making noise were rebuked. I see financial problems rebuked. I see that sickness that kept taking you and that baby to hospital, you and that child, you and that person, that sickness is rebuked. I see the challenges and troubles in business rebuked. I see unemployment rebuked. I see late marriage and non-marriage rebuked. I see matrimonial problems rebuked. Whatever had caused a storm of any kind in any area of your life, the master has woken up. The storm will hear his voice. And the Bible account says, and they were all they, the, the disciples were amazed. What kind of man is this that even the winds and the water, the waves and the storms, all of them, the tornadoes, all of them obey him. I see every storm that had raged in your life respond to divine rebuke. They have come to an end. They have come to an end in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Great thing that happened was that the disciples went boldly to him and did what? Woke him up. That boldness is what you must engage in this season. This is my season of grace. You must wake him up in your boat. You must call out to him. You must pray. You must fast. You must cry a little louder. But you know the beautiful thing about it? The Bible says, come boldly. Do not be afraid. Come what? Boldly. Hebrews 4.16. Come boldly. You have a need? Come boldly. There's a storm? Come boldly. It has been raging since the... Come boldly. Unto the throne of grace where the master sits. That you may obtain mercy. And find grace to help in your time of need. There was need. They came boldly. They woke him up. He didn't say, why are you disturbing me? He answered them and addressed their need. I prophesy that the master has come to address your need. The need in your family. The need in your business. The ministerial needs. The needs of this mission. Whatever needs have been there for marriage, needs for dear ones, fruit of the womb, the master is willing and able. He didn't say to them, why are you disturbing me? Arise, call upon him. He will surely answer Today, I want to point out something to you. How did we define grace? God has entered my race. Abby? God entering your race. God waking up in your boat. 
God walking on the sea and coming up to you where you're rowing hard, stepping in your boat and the storm comes to an end. In fact, you cross over to the other side immediately. There's divine acceleration there. Hear me, child of God. The thing about God in your boat is that God enters in and it becomes God at work in you. With you. Through you. To do God's own will. Hello? And then to do with you, for you, in you and through you, what you can do by yourself. No wonder 1 Corinthians 15 verses 8 to 10, Paul says this, And last of all, he was seen of me also, as of one born out of due time. Meaning what? I didn't qualify. I didn't merit it. I didn't have the capacity. It shouldn't have been me. In fact, he went for that to say, I was in demerit. I was not just that I didn't qualify, but I had negative qualification. He went on in verse 9 to say, For I am the least of the apostles that am not meet or qualified or worthy to be called an apostle because I persecuted the church of God. I should have been discredited, disqualified. But, verse 10, by the grace of God, by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain. But I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me. This verse 10 is so loaded. Paul was saying, but grace located me. But God chose. And he is God. Nobody can ask him what doest thou. God chose to step into my boat. God chose to run my race. God chose to come in and pick me. One that was not qualified. One that didn't merit it. A Mephibosheth with crippled legs. He just came into my life. He just picked me. He just chose me. Grace of election located me. Hello? But he pointed out several things. Number one, that grace was not in vain. That grace was what? Not in vain. Number one. Number two. By, because of that grace, I labored more abundantly than... Grace is not holiday. Grace does not give you a flight ticket to vacation. Grace means that the capacity of he... Look, Jesus said, I walk because he that to my father walketh. Night cometh when no man may walk. So I will walk day and night till that night comes. What grace does is that God's walking ethics come into your life. The one that doesn't rest enters your life. The one that neither slumbers nor sleeps enters into your life. Your productivity level jumps. It's not you go on vacation. It is you become more productive. It is you become more resourceful. Am I talking to somebody here? I labored more abundantly than they Yet not I, but the grace of God. It is you that, are, that people are seeing laboring. But it is God working in you, with you, and through you. Hear me, child of God. There are certain things that you and I must do. Yes. Grace is God coming into me. But there are certain things, one, that God looks for. It's not everybody he bestows his grace upon. The Bible says of the widow of Zarephath, what did he say? There were other widows. But why did he go to that particular one? There was something he was looking for. The Shunammite woman was not the only barren woman in the land. But why did he go there? There was something he was looking for. Am I talking to somebody here? Many fishermen had, been, in fact, if you go to where Peter's boat was, the Bible says there were two boats. But he picked Peter. What was he looking for? What qualified Peter to be the one that he picked? And you see, when grace locates you and comes inside you, grace begins to do all the things. 
and it looks like so much is happening and it's so much is happening but it's God doing it in you not you doing it I labored more but it was the grace of God laboring inside me the whole the thing is a thesis that one verse 10 is a whole thesis but I want to say that when grace picks a man it picks the person or a woman on basis of pre-qualification. Yes, tell Sister Kaita to stand up. Amen? Tell her sister there to stand up. Praise the Lord. It pre-qualifies you. You have to stand up. And, I mean, you have to be pre-qualified and based on that, you're picked. Then grace begins to walk in you and through you and it becomes another story altogether. You must now have a work ethic that is God-like. Am I talking to somebody here? Praise the living God. So, what are the things that grace does? Grace makes you both willing to be spent and to spend for the kingdom. Paul said in 2 Corinthians 12, 15, and I will be glad, I will very gladly spend and be spent for you. I will very gladly spend and be spent. It's not just bringing out money. I'll give my life. I'll be spent. I'll give my blood. I'll give everything to achieve what is determined. Let me tell you, Philippians 2.13, For it is God which walketh in you, both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Is, is it to read version puts it this way? Yes, it is God who is walking in you. He helps you. One, want to do what pleases him. Two, and he gives you the power to do it. Now listen. Jesus used or gave grace, bestowed grace upon certain people that changed their history. Let me show you a few of them and show you how grace works. Bartimaeus. In Mark 10 from verse 46. I labored more than all of them. Bartimaeus was outside Jericho. And God had appointed a set time to bless him. Like he has appointed this month for your own lifting. Amen. But grace began to work in Bartimaeus. So that grace of God told him. At a certain hour, you will hear them making noise. Ask who they're making noise about. And when he asked, they said it was Jesus. He said, you are a beggar, yes. Normally, you ask for money. Don't ask for money today. Shout. That, don't ask the crowd, give me money. Give me Rabbi Allah, give me money. No, 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 not today. Today, shout. And don't just shout anything. Don't shout Jesus of Nazareth. Shout thou son of David. Appeal to the king in him. So, blind Bartimaeus did something contrary to what beggars do. He heard a noise and he couldn't see who was the cause of the noise. But once they informed him it was Jesus, he began to shout. Grace was gingering him. Why was grace gingering him? God wanted to do something unusual for him. But God needed him to present a facade of doing something unusual himself. So that when the blessing comes, they will not see that, they will not see that God is partial. You see, it was grace at work in him and through him to bring him what was coming. Do you understand what I'm saying? How many other blind men were there? Why didn't they cry out? How many people knew that tonight would be this night of double grace? How many of them came? See, you are not here by chance. You don't do the things you do by chance. Nobody serves the way he serves by chance. If you are serving very well, something is pushing you to serve well. Something is at work in you. Am I talking to somebody here? And Bartimaeus shouted. And they shouted him down. It didn't come for people like you. The Bible says he shouted all the more loud. Not normal. That was abnormal. But because of that, 
David, thou son of David, Jesus heard it. And Jesus said, hey, he has shouted enough that if I give him attention now, nobody will say I'm partial. And the Bible said that Jesus stood still. He said, fetch him. He knew he was there before. He said, what? Fetch him. He was God. He knew he was, he knew that his miracle was planned for that day. He said, fetch him. Grace was orchestrating everything. And when he was coming, he threw away everything that made him a blind man. And when he asked him, what do you want? He didn't say money. He said, that I might receive my sight. And immediately, it was done. But you see, grace kept pushing him until he said the abnormal and he got the unusual. Am I talking to somebody here? You see the same thing with the Shunammite woman. Second Kings chapter 6, verse 8 and on. The Bible account says the master was passing. Was she the only one that saw him? When she stopped him, she didn't even know who he was. How do I know that she didn't know? You need to understand that when grace helps you, you don't even know what you're doing. Because Jesus, he, she, she didn't just say, come and eat. She said, come and eat. Jesus said, no, I won't eat. I'm on my way. I'm busy. The Bible said she constrained him. Do you know what constraining means? She blocked his way. I said, you must come and eat in our house. By force, by fire. You can pass without eating. Constrained by force. And he ate. Another time, he passed. He ate. And passed again. He ate. Up till this time, she didn't know who she was feeding. Because she now said to her husband, I perceive that this is a man of God. Meaning, I'm not quite sure, but something is telling me. Do you understand what I'm saying? What was at work in her? Making her constrain somebody she didn't know. Was it every stranger she constrained? Grace was already at work. I'm saying to somebody that grace has already located you this morning. I'm saying that you're here now. It's not accident. It's grace. Grace brought you. Because grace has decided that this is your day for a miracle. Praise the living God. And she constrained him. Built him house. And that was how she got a son. And got all the other miracles that followed. I've mentioned to you the story. And you see, for her to get this kind of miracle, and others didn't get it. She had to do what others did not do. Look at King Solomon. 1,000 burnt offerings in the day when 21 was an unusual offering. 7 was a perfect offering. He gave 1,000 burnt offerings. Why? He didn't give 100. He went to what? 1,000. To prove what? To It was nothing. It was just God pushing him. Do what will shock everybody because what I have prepared to give you will shock everybody. And you see, Solomon was not a particularly ambitious person. When his brothers were struggling for kingship, no interest from Solomon. It was Solomon's mother who went to the king and said, you promised me. Solomon himself had no interest. Am I talking to somebody here? He was not a politician. He was not that way minded. So, power for him was neither here nor there. But grace had located him. Why did grace locate him? The Bible account says God loved him from when he was born. In fact, God gave him a name, Jedediah, beloved of the Lord. You're the one that God loves. I'm telling somebody here. You're not here by accident. You were brought here. The love of God drew you. Am I talking to somebody here? He was singled out by that love. He was convicted to give 1,000 offerings. There was no precedent. Nobody else had done it before. Do you understand what I'm saying? He just did something out of character for no reason at all. That is why some people, 
when the thing is pushing you in church, empty your account. You don't know that God is setting you up to embarrass you with blessing. If you let people around you talk you out of it, now you sabi. Solomon was provoked by grace to do the unusual so that God could bless him in an unusual manner. By the time God woke him up that night and gave him a blank check, whatever you want, his case became different. I prophesy over somebody, grace makes your case different from today in Jesus' mighty name. Everybody he blessed. The Bible says in Luke 5 from verse 2. There were two boats. But some of the fishermen had gone. And their boat was empty. But he came to Peter. And said, I need your boat. And Peter said, okay, I'll give it to you. Peter was tired, but grace was pushing him. Peter was mending his net. He had to suspend mending of his net to go out to the master for him to preach. Am I talking to somebody here? But grace, normally a fisherman who fished all night without catching anything is not a happy man. Peter should not have responded, but grace was working. He, walk, he acted out of character and God blessed him in an extraordinary manner. I'm praying for somebody under the sound of my voice. That grace will provoke you. Grace will provoke you to go the extra mile. Do the unusual thing. Bless God in an unusual way. That will cause him to do an extraordinary miracle in your life. Pastor Deboe said that he was in Tulsa, Oklahoma many years ago. For a camp meeting of Kenneth Hagen. By Kenneth Hagen. And a man, they wanted to raise money for Bible, to build a Bible school. And a man came to the pulpit and called for his wife to come, talk to her a minute, and then asked for a microphone to speak. And said to the congregation of 17,000 people, my wife and I have decided that towards the building of this Bible school, Anything that all of you give today, total X, we will give exactly that amount. Okay. Some people said, is it to show that you have money or what? So they started giving. Of course, as you know, some people who wanted to give 1,000 will give 1,500 to see if they will make the man eat his words. Some people that didn't plan to give before will say, I will add my own. Let me create wahala for this man today. At the end of the day, they totaled everything three million something dollars. And the man wrote a check. And for another three million something dollars. Pastor Dibuya said, after the service, said, I have to see this man. I need to find out. This thing he's doing is not sure. There's something he knows that every other person here does not know. So he pursued the man. And caught up with the man, introduced himself, and they chatted the while. I said, Sir, I came here for information. This thing you did, what is behind it? Tell me the truth. The man laughed. He said, You're the only man who has come to ask me, so I'll tell you. He said, Five years ago, I had $500 left only, and I started business with $500. As soon as I started the business, I knelt down and I made a covenant with God, me and my wife. I said, Lord, I won't insult you with tithe of 10%. Every profit we make in this business, I'll give you, God, 90% and I'll manage 10. Let me see what you'll do. So that was five years ago. Today, the business is worth more than $50 million in five years. I said, what I've done today is another one of those things I did five years ago. By the time we come for next year's this thing, you will see where I'll be. Because God, whose grace has provoked me to give, this will visit me in a special way. 
He knew something. Grace was speaking in his life. Hear me, child of God. In this season of grace, there are certain things you will have to do. Paul said, I labored more than everybody else. I gave more than everybody else. I served more than everybody else. I prayed more than everybody else. I walked in the house of God more than everybody else. Yes, it is grace. But grace is not cheap. Number one, grace locates people who already have a tendency to work hard for God. They've been faithful before. And they want to be more faithful with more. They want, please listen to me, they've been faithful before. And they want to be more faithful with more. Grace will locate people like that. Do you understand what I'm talking about? I have commanded a widow woman. The widow was already a believer before. God doesn't command unbelievers. They don't know his voice. My sheep hear my voice. So the widow they hear before. They give before. Now he commanded her this command. That sounded grievous. But it was for the purpose of transforming her life. Grace. Hello somebody. Hear me child of God. When Jesus sailed across the sea and the water filled the boat, where was he going? He was going to the other side. How long did he spend there? Eh? As soon as he got there, he did another miracle. And the people there told him, please leave us. He entered the boat and turned back. Why did he sail all night to get to the other side? Get to the other side. He didn't move away from the beach there. He entered boat and turned back again. I'll tell you why. He went there because there was a madman called Legion. A madman who grace provoked when people around didn't believe in Jesus Christ said thou art the son of God. Grace was speaking through an insane man. And he came and knelt down. Grace made him kneel down. He didn't fight. He did what? He knelt down. And what did Jesus do? Cast legion out of him. When Jesus entered boat to go back, the man said, I'm going with you. You know what he told him? Stay here and preach. And the Bible says, he went into Decapolis. Ten cities in the area. He evangelized all ten cities by himself. Jesus crossed the sea because he had a working man. One that would not waste grace was on the other side and needed to be delivered. Paul said, I labored more than others. Many will claim grace, pray grace, talk grace, but how many people will labor more than others? Somebody needs to go into high gear. You need to go where you've never gone before. Try what you've never tried before. Try again what you tried before and didn't work. Make more effort than ever before then you will see the God dimension kick in. Because it is where your capacity stops that God's capacity begins and takes off. And there is no limit. Am I talking to somebody here? God is looking for somebody who is pushing the boundaries so that he will enlarge the person's ghost. I am saying to somebody under the sound of my voice, get up and get going. Get up and press forward. Go out and try what you've not tried before. Double grace is released for you. The hand of God is upon you. Make that move again. And keep making that move until something happens. God is waiting. God is waiting to amplify the footsteps of the lepers. But the lepers must start marching first. Do 
do something and you will see God move in your life. It is time to go out and take advantage of double grace. If I finish talking to you this morning and you go back to business as usual, there's no need for grace to come in. Am I talking to somebody here? If you want something you've never had, you have to do something you've never done. It is then you see God's capacity taking care of your shortcomings, taking care of your inadequacies, God moving ahead of you and opening the doors. I don't know anybody, but suddenly you talk to somebody you don't know and the somebody you don't know does more for you than somebody you knew would have done for you. Because God knows everybody, created everybody, and every king's heart is in the hands of the Lord. Let somebody make a move and see grace speak for you. I don't know who I'm talking to this morning, but God is set to lift somebody. But you need to take that step. You need to make that move. I live God harder, more than all the others. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, I speak the release of double grace over somebody's life. I invoke the mystery of resurrection power. I release you to step out. I command the hand of God upon your life. The same hand that came upon Elijah to grant him speed. Come upon your life. Come upon your life. Come upon your life. The God that enlarged the coast of Jabez. Come upon your life. Hand of God rest upon your life. Jehovah change your name. Jehovah grant you a new heart. Enlargement of heart. In the name of Jesus Christ. I invoke upon you the right hand of God. That held the hands of Cyrus. To loosen the two leaf gates. To loosen the loins of kings. That hand of God come upon you. Double grace speak you into the place of prepared blessings. Into the place of prepared testimonies. As you dare what you have never dared before. The Lord do with you and do for you. What you could never have thought to ask or to imagine. In Jesus mighty name. Thank you Father. I release angelic hosts for immediate manifestation of your testimonies. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Rise on your feet please. Wherever you are. Somebody call upon the name of the Lord right now. Say my father, my father. In the name of Jesus Christ. My time has come to shine. I will arise and shine. I will press forward. I will do what I've never done. Because I expect you to do with me what I cannot do for myself. God, in my race, from this moment, in Jesus' mighty name, prayers now. You must run the race, but you're calling for God to enter into your race. Come into my race, O oh God. God in my race. God in my race. God in my race. I invoke the hand of God that rested upon Cyrus upon my life. I invoke the hand of God that rested upon Cyrus into my life and ministry. O oh God. Thou who made the axe head float, let the axe head of my vision float in this season. Thou God of double grace, thou God of grace, 
Remember me, remember me, remember me. Ha! As you did with Elijah, making him an overtaker after he had overthrown and destroyed the prophets of Baal and the other prophets. Let your hand come upon me to do the same. O thou who visited Jabez and made his story different, let your hand be good upon me. Just as it was upon Jabez, upon Nehemiah. My father, my father, remember me. Remember me. Remember me. Remember me. God in my race, I invoke your presence. I invoke your power. I invoke your guidance. I invoke your grace into my race, into all that concerns me. Let this be so, O oh God. I receive it as done. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Call upon the name of the Lord. O thou who remembered Hannah, remembered Mordecai, remembered Mephibosheth, remembered Joseph, Jehovah, remember me. Prayers now. In Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Open your mouth and say, my father, my father. My father my I invoke the combination of resurrection power. The opening of the book of divine remembrance. I also invoke the mystery of this month of grace. God at work. In my boat, in my race, my father, my father, the threefold cord is not easily broken by the mystery of the combination of these three mysteries. I come against every barrier, resistance, ability of the enemy that are delayed, prevented, challenged my success i bind all spirits at work against me i terminate every claim of the negative supernatural i command foul spirits hither to hindering challenging preventing my testimony be bound gather your wares pack your loads lose your holes go now to the bottomless pit. Let the rocks be rent. Grave clothes be eliminated. Let barriers be destroyed. Quickening power of God come upon me. A mountain of divine remembrance speak for me. Angelic hosts minister on my behalf. Every rock standing between me and the manifestation of God's highest and best for my life, my family, all that be of me, be eliminated by fire. I enter into my valley of Baraka. I enter into my larger place. I enter into the blessings 
of divine remembrance right now to the glory of God in Jesus' mighty name. Open your mouth and begin to declare your change. Begin to pray concerning matrimonial settlement, bachelors and spinsters, businessmen and women, open heavens and open doors, commanded favor and grace. Begin to round up your prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, lift up your hands to the Lord. I bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I invoke upon you the mystery of these three seasons. Divine remembrance. The opening of the book of God's grace and favor as a season of favor comes upon your life. The release of resurrection power Amen. that Satan never had an answer to 2,000 years ago and still does not have an answer to today. Let the barriers be broken. Amen. Let the yokes be destroyed. Amen. Let the stones be rolled away. Amen. Let the heavens be opened. Amen. Let commanded favor and grace come upon you. Amen. In the name of the Father Amen. and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I release angelic hosts for immediate manifestation of divine blessings. Amen. Receive the power to prosper. Amen. Receive favor for increase. Amen. Almighty God, enlarge your coast Amen. and establish you. Jehovah, perfect all that concerns you. So I speak it, so it is done. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I decree by the mercies of God, blessings at eyes, have not seen ears, have not heard nobody's imagination ever encompassed. I declare the heavens are open over you. The God that set the solitary in homes set you in homes. Even as many as are believing God for matrimonial settlement in Jesus' mighty name. Let there be healings, let there be deliverances. I rebuke every spirit of infirmities, weaknesses, and pain. Be thou made completely whole from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet in Jesus' mighty name. I speak wisdom for increase, favor for increase, divine connection that brings divine prosperity. The hand of God rests upon you. Financial and material miracles speak in every area of your life in Jesus' mighty name. The jubilee has come. The jubilee has come. I command all equations of power. I command all financial equations in Lagos State to begin to be altered in your favor. To be altered in your favor. To be altered in your favor. In your favor. I command the power must change hands. Spiritual power must change hands. The church receives a power. The kingdom of God reigns supreme here in Lagos in Jesus' mighty name. Even from this time forward, prosper, excel, succeed, be blessed, going out, be blessed, coming in, be blessed. Wherever you are, you are blessed. Whatever you lay your hands to, it shall prosper. 
even the flinty rock shall yield you and pour you forth oil from this time forward in Jesus name Jehovah cloak you with favor as with a garment favor as with a garment the mystery of the elimination of sackcloth and napkins that had covered the cups is upon you you are loose from all grave cloth manifestations that hitherto had been upon your life in Jesus mighty name the veil of darkness that had covered you, Jehovah removes. The God that set the solitary in homes, visit you, visit you, settle you, settle you, prosper, succeed, excel to the glory of God. Even the blessings that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, nobody's imagination encompassed shall be your blessings shall be your testimonies from this time forward i release angelic hosts to effect immediate manifestations even of these words spoken we have spoken them let jehovah's zeal accomplish them for we speak them in jesus mighty name thank you father in jesus mighty name in the mighty name of jesus christ Amen somebody It is done In Jesus name Hallelujah Hallelujah Just lift up your hands I pray for you one more time I pray that the glory of the Lord Rest upon you Countenance of the most high smile on you As you go forth the hand of God Is upon you It is well with you Your change has come Many are called few are chosen you are amongst the chosen few. Therefore, may the Lord release upon you choice blessings, extraordinary blessings, great favor and great grace. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. Shall we share the grace of fellowship? Anybody with a tithe? <laughs> Offering. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Anybody that needs to give an offering, you can take an offering and go personally and drop it on the altar. Amen. Anybody with a tithe, come forward. May the tithe's blessings rest upon you. Jehovah, rebuke every devourer for your sake. Open the windows of heaven and pour out upon you blessings that exceed every expectation. Lord, so bless you, nations and people. Shall call you the blessed of the Lord. So we speak, so it is done. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen, somebody? As many as are giving offerings, I bless every offering lifted. The hand of the Lord rests upon you. The Lord cause all grace to abound, that always having all sufficiency, you will abound to every good work, to the glory of God, in Jesus' mighty name. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ Love of God, sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all now and forevermore. Surely, all the days we shall dwell forever and ever. God bless you and good morning. Take a moment to thank God and go rejoicing.